Welcome to another free Microsoft Access Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to group records together by date in your Access reports. Here's my customer database. It's the database that I build in my regular Access courses. I have a customer list. If I click on one of these customers, like myself, and click on Open Selected Customer, you'll see all the customer's details. Now one of the things that I track in my database is something called a customer sense field. This is when this customer's account was created in the database. I like to think of it as kind of like the customer's birth date as a customer. Well, what I like to do from time to time is generate a list of my customers broken down by year. So I can see, okay, these are the oldest customers who joined in, let's say, 1992, and these guys are in 93 and 94 and so on. So that after five years, I can send the, these customers a present, and then after 10 years, I can send these guys a slightly more expensive present and so on. So I want to generate a list of all of my customers grouped by year. And the easiest way to do that is with a Microsoft Access report with a sorting and grouping level. Let me show you how that's set up. I'm going to click on Create and then report design. I like to work with a blank report. Yes, there is a wizard to do this, but once you learn how to work with blank reports, it's much, much better, faster, and easier than using the wizards. I find when I use a wizard, it takes me more time to undo the formatting that the wizard does because I don't like the way they look. So it's faster and easier for me to just do it from scratch. So that's how I teach it in my classes. I'm gonna click on report design. There's a blank report right there. First thing you do is specify the record source. Where is this report getting its data from? So double click right there where the ruler bars meet on that little block. You see the property sheet. The first property is record source. So come over here, drop this down. I'm looking for the customer table, which in this database is customer T right there, customer table. Now I can close the property sheet and come up here and pick add existing fields. This is a list of all the fields that are in that table or query. You can use queries too. I'm going to pick the fields that I want to see on this report. So I want first name, then I'm going to hold the control key down as I pick more fields. Control, last name, company name, and the customer sense field. All right, then I'm going to click and drag any one of them over here to put all four of those fields on my report. Now I can close the field list because I'm done with it. All right, so there they are. Now I want these labels to appear once at the top of the page. So I'll put them in the page header. I'm going to select all these. Control X to cut, click inside the page header, and Control V to paste. Now I can arrange these the way that I want them. Let's put first name over here, followed by last name, followed by company name, and we'll keep customer sense over here on the left. Now I'll get rid of all this extra empty space like that, right, and line these guys up. There's first name, last name, company name, and we'll put customer sense over there. Let's get rid of all of this extra empty space by grabbing the bottom of the page footer and sliding it up just like this. Watch, click and drag. All right, let's save our work so we don't lose it in case the power goes out. All right, control S to save. Let's call this customer sense birthday report R. All right, customer sense birthday R. Let's see what it looks like. Let's go up here and click on print preview. Drop this box down, print preview. There we go. Now, I hate these boxes. See, this is one of the things I'm talking about. Access puts all this formatting in here that I don't like. So I'm going to get rid of those boxes. But look at what I've got data-wise. First name, last name, company name, customer sense over here. But I want to sort and group these by year. So all the 2012s show up together, for example. All right, how do I do that? Well, we got to turn a grouping level on. So let's close print preview, come back into here. I'm going to click over here and get rid of that formatting real quick. I'm going to go to Format, Shape Outline, and then Transparent. That'll hide that. So now if I print preview it again, you see this. looks much better. Okay, let's turn that sorting and grouping level on. Come up top on the ribbon. Right there it says Group and Sort. Click on that. Now, down on the bottom of the screen, you'll see this thing appears. It says Group, Sort, and Total. Let's come over here and click on Add a Group. What field do you want to group on? I'm going to group on that customer sense field. From oldest to newest is the sort. That's fine. If you want the most recent ones up top, drop that down. By quarter is how you want to break it up, how you want to group it by the entire value, so each unique value is grouped. By day, week, month, quarter. By year is the one I'm looking for. 
or you can go custom by every three months, by every six months. All right, so click off of that. By year should be in there. Notice now we have a customer sense header section. I'll show you what that does in just a second. All right, now come up top here and print preview it. Look at that. Now, it's the same basic report, but all the records are grouped together by year. See, there's the only one from 90, only one from 92. We got two from 98 grouped together. All right, scroll down. We got three from 2012. See that? So that's how you group them together by year. Now, let's put something in that header section. Let's go back into design view. Got this empty header section sitting right here. Watch this. I'm going to copy this customer sense, copy paste. All right. And I'm going to open up its properties by double clicking on it. And I'm going to change the control source to this. Watch. Equals year, the word year, open parenthesis. Go to the end, close parenthesis. Now it says equals the year of customer sense. So only show me the year portion of customer sense, like 2012. Okay, close that. Uh, let's maybe format this guy a little bit. Let's go to format. Let's bold it and uh, make it a little bit bigger. How about like 16 point? Make the box a little bit bigger. All right, save that. And oh, one more thing. Open it up again. Forgot about this. Take the short date format off because if if you if you leave it as short date, it's going to be in the format of one slash one slash 2012, for example. So we have to take the format off. All right. And then also let's left justify this. Left align it. All right. Now let's save it and take a print preview. And perfect. There we go. 1990, 92, 98, and so on. So that's how you group your date values by any particular interval. I picked a year. You could do month. You could do quarter. That's how you utilize the group header. And there's all kinds of stuff you can do with these grouping levels. I cover sorting and grouping in much, much more detail in my Access Expert Level 12 class. I teach you how to group customers by state. Here you can see a couple of different customers in New York, for example. We put a count down here, a total of their credit limits over here. You can see that if there is no state, I show you how to put the word none in there because maybe some customers are missing data. We also break it down by multiple grouping levels. I show you state and then country as well. So if you scroll down here, there's my Canadians, and I've got one Italian in there as well. We do another report with currency grouping. So you could take your sales, for example, break it down by sales rep, and then show all the sales that fall on a particular range, like 0 to 500, 500 to 1,000, and so on. We also build an employee work log where you can enter in the employee's information, time in, time out. The system calculates hours worked. You can track what activity they were doing if you want to. You can specify a default employee or a default date, and that automatically enters it in here. So you could put in Amy once, for example, and then just type in a bunch of dates one after the other. And then we build a work log report, which is grouped by employee and then grouped by week because there's a bunch of individual records in here, right, for this particular week beginning, 728, and I teach you how to calculate that, right? If, if today's date is 730, what's the Sunday before that? So you can figure out what the week began on. In that particular case, it's 728. So we group it by employee, then we group it by week. We calculate the week begin date, then add up the hours worked. So this goes right on your timesheet information. So we cover all that plus a lot more in Access Expert 12. That's a long class. That class is about two and a half hours long. Most of my classes usually are about an hour long. Well, that one went over double time. So it's a real long class. A lot of great information on there. I started going with grouping and sorting, and I just I couldn't stop. There was just so much good stuff to include in this lesson that I couldn't stop myself. So for more information on this class, or if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them or contact me or visit my website, accesslearningzone.com. Com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. I've got tons of free Microsoft Access tips and tricks videos on my channel, plus lessons in other subjects like Microsoft Excel, Word, Visual Basic, Windows, and lots more. And don't forget to click to visit my website at accesslearningzone.com for even more free videos, my Access message forums, and lots more. Hope to see you soon.